What's up guys, my name is Will Higgins. I'm a Southern California realtor. And guess what? Real estate used to be my side hustle. So today I wanna to talk to you about how I went from being a part-time agent to a top producing agent here in Southern California. Real estate was my side hustle. I mean, and I know it's probably the side hustle for a lot of you guys, but if you put in the time, work, effort, you can definitely turn things around and this can be your full-time job. Uh, so about me. So yeah, so real estate was my side hustle. I had a full-time job. I worked at the railroad for 12 years. Yes, railroad. Um, so I worked at the railroad for 12 years in sales and it was always something about real estate that that really interested me. And uh, when I was at the railroad, I had a lot of free time on my hands, probably just like a lot of you guys. Also, uh, with the pandemic, a lot of folks are working from home, so you, you do have a lot of time on your hands. So I had a ton of time on my hands, and in my free time, I was really just going to the gym and playing basketball and stuff. And uh, my buddy, I remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, me and my buddy, we got together. We're at Chipotle in Chino, California, and uh, we decided that we were gonna be the brothers, the real estate brothers. I'm talking about like back to back, you know, uh, taking cheesy pictures and stuff. Like that was supposed to be us. And guess what? He lasted a month. Yeah, a month. We can get in that in, in another video on, on why he quit, but uh, at least to say I stuck with it and here I am today. So let's talk about how I basically, you know, transitioned what I did. So again, I started part time, but from the beginning, I treated my business like a business. So I worked on my business before I worked in my business. All right. So that's step one work on your business okay i worked on my business instead of just working in my business at first so i set up kind of mission statement um i thought about how i would earn business i thought about who would want to work with me you know i cultivated relationships i got a crm right get a crm guys get a crm okay so i got a crm i worked on the business so that so that when things got going I had funnels, I had something set up a place, you know, I set up a brand. Um, and the next thing I did was I joined a team. Again, I attack this like a business, right? When you're in college and you're looking to get hired, what do you do every summer that you're in college, right? Most of us that were business majors, we got internships. So I took, I took that same approach to real estate and I joined a team. I joined this guy in, uh, in Chino Hills, his name is Derek Oy. I joined his team and it wasn't because he was gonna give me leads and stuff, you know? It was because I was going to learn, right? So for me, you know, it might be different for you, but I didn't want a team that would give me anything, right? You, heard, you hear that, that old African proverb, you know, teach a man to fish, right? And he'll feed his family forever, right? So I wanted to learn how to fish on my own. And that's what I did. So I think that's number two, learn how to fish, right? So figure out how you want to get your business and be intentional when you do those things, right? So again, working a full-time job, um, started working in real estate. And I, I won't lie to you, it was slow. So it took me six months before I got my first transaction, but then after that, it was boom, 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 All right? So, uh, so let's talk about the first year I did it. I did, uh, I worked full-time and I did real estate. I mean, it was it was grueling, right? So you gotta have a level level of energy. You, know, you gotta you know you gotta take care of your body. You gotta take care of yourself. Um, but you gotta have a level level of energy if you want to do both at a high level. So first year I did both. I did both jobs. Um, I really learned from the team. I didn't do things my way. I did things their way. Okay. So it's great to do things your way, but I think you have to uh, establish a base and learn the fundamentals, right? So learn the fundamentals first, and then once you have the fundamentals down, then you can, you know, kind of put your, your your spin, your swag, your style on it, you know? Um, so that's what I did. I did that for a whole year, like two jobs. I mean, I remember every week it was like clockwork. I would pass out at like 5 p.m. One, one day out of the week, I would pass out at 5 p.m., wake up at 5 a.m. the next day because I was working that hard, you know? And again, if you wanna do both of these and do them at a high level, uh, no matter what you do, 
you're gonna have to put your all into it. So I did that for a whole year. And then uh, the second year, right? So I had already started building up a lot of momentum. And then the second year, what happened was, I remember like it was yesterday, February 12th, 2019, your boy got laid off. So they laid me off. Um, probably one of the best decisions ever made for me was, was that company saying, you know what? Thank you for your 12 years of service. And um, we're gonna go a different direction, right? So honestly, I was excited about it. My wife was kind of worried, but I was excited about it. But instantly I became a full-time realtor. Um, again, I remember it was a Tuesday. Uh, that Friday I was going to a conference. Um, I was with Keller Williams at the time. Um, now I'm with EXP Realty, but I was with Keller Williams at the time and I was going to their family reunion conference in New Orleans. I'm from New Orleans, you know? So well, why would I pass that up? So I went I went to the conference, picked up some great nuggets, uh, but when I came back on Monday, I was a full-time real estate agent, you know? Um, those are just a few bits and pieces of the puzzle, but ultimately, if you're a part-time real estate agent and uh, you're looking to do this full-time, if you have the energy and the hustle, it's definitely a possibility and you can do it fast right so my first year in real estate i made sixty thousand dollars and that was part time okay my second year in real estate i matched my six figure salary at the railroad so it's definitely 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 possible and as a part-time real estate agent i think you're in a better position than the full-time realtors you know what do me a favor, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button, um, like this video. In my next video, I'm gonna talk about why I think the part-time real estate agent is in a better position than some of the full-time real estate agents. Thanks for joining me and uh, look forward to connecting with you on the next video.